Hello there, welcome to my bench, Hugh here. And in this tutorial I decided to tie you up a, an emerger pattern. This emerger rep is the sulfur emerger. A very good hatch, it usually starts around the first part of June where I fish. And I thought you might be interested in seeing this guy, so I figured I'd tie him up this time. So, I'll get him out of the hook, a fresh hook in, and I'll get going here. Okay, for the hook I'm using a Mustad C67S. It's actually a caddis pupa hook or egg hook, but it, I find it makes a good emerger hook as well. And I'm tying this guy on a 10, which is a little larger than usual, but makes it easier for you to see. So, And the threaded, I'm using Danville 6 fly Flymaster in a sulfur yellow. We'll start our thread right behind the eye. And we're going to wrap back towards the bend here, touching wraps. And we'll stop there, snip off our tag, come down the bend a little ways, and stop our thread right there. Our tailing material is ginger colored microfibits. And I usually snip off three to four, so I'll grab three this time, snip them off. And I want that tail to be a little longer than the body, so then we'll bring it back, tie him in right on top, snug down. A few wraps forward, then we're going to trim that up a little ways on the shank there. Tie that all down good, just like so. Then work your thread back to in front of your tail. Now I want to go back on this tail. I want to bring him down the shank away so he's pointing downward, just like so. Then stop my thread there. There we go. Now for the body, I'm using a dubbing blend that I blend it myself. It's uh, a sulfur orange and a sulfur yellow mixed together and the reason being I find the sulfurs where I fish their body color is a yellowish orange color and this seems to match it good I use it on my mergers and dries and had very good luck with it so we'll get some dubbing wax on here and we'll dub this body up and we want to start we want to taper this body a little bit so Start thin, thin at the front of this noodle, then a little thicker as we go down the thread. But we're probably going to take two to three amounts before we get exactly what we want on there. So it's always better to add a little at a time. Now I'm going to work back towards that tailing material, the fibbits, and we're going to lift up on those. And I'm going to make one wrap underneath, just like so, and then come back. Then I'm going to start wrapping forward once again. And just keep that taper in mind as you're wrapping. Okay, going to need a little bit more here. So I'm going to a little more wax on the thread. Pinch off a little bit more dubbing. Dub that on there. There we go. Now I'm going to dub that up to where I want it. And believe it or not, a tad bit more actually. Just got a straight fiber there. I want to snip it. There we go. Not a lot, just a pinch. Very little actually, but I'm going to dub that on. Slide that up. And there we go. There's our body. Okay, now for, for an emerger wing here, I'm using. Uh, white CDC actually a cream color and I'm taking two feathers and place them against one another just like so and I'm just going to take my fingers and stroke them so they're closed together keep the tips even so we got even tips on our wing here just like so there we go now we're going to bring that in I want that wing to come back just to the end of the body I don't want it to go over on the tail and I'm going to slide down the pinch loop, pinch that on, make two to three, four snug wraps, pull down. And there's our wing. I'm going to come in, snip off the excess CDC stems here, just like so. I'm going to bind those down, some snug wraps, and we're ready to dub the head on this guy. So once again, we'll dub the wax with some dubbing wax on the thread here. Grab a little bit more dub, just like so. Okay, 
Just a smidgen more here. Okay. Bring that back and see if we have enough there. Just like that. So there we go. Wrap forward. And there we have it. That's all there is to it. Very simply merger fly, but very effective. And it can be tied to represent other mayfly hatches as well. I'm just going to throw in a half hitch here. Bring in my whip finisher. Get three or four turns on this guy. Snip him down. There we go. Come in, snip off that excess. There we go. Okay, and I'm going to come in with my hit cement. I just want a tiny drop there on the thread wraps. Not a whole lot, just a little drop. There we go. Okay. And there we have it. Another size 10 sulfur emerger. I was saying very effective during the sulfur hatch. I find this works really well when you're if you have a hatch going on, it's sporadic, not a heavy hatch. And a lot of times they'll hammer the emerger when there's not a lot of duns on the surface, of course. So there we have it. The sulfur emerger. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I thank you very much for watching once again. And I hope you can get a chance to tie this guy up and try him, again, try him when the hatch starts. So, until next time, stay safe everyone, happy tying, and I'll see you again soon. So long for now folks. Oops, just trying to get a close-up. Didn't work out quite so well. Sorry about that.